Welcome to the Child and Adolescent Health Measurement Initiative's Care Path for Kids Model and Tools, or in short, the CPK. The Care Path for Kids is a three-step whole child approach for families of children and youth with special health care needs to engage, plan, and improve care planning and outcomes in partnership with their child's care teams. The Care Path for Kids stands for Connect, Assess, Respond, Engage, Prioritize, Articulate, Translate, and Honor which outlines the approach and mindset for engaging families in this process. The CAMI team at the Johns Hopkins University developed the CPK model and tools. Families can partner with their care teams in creating plans of care for their child and family. The CPK tools, education materials, and implementation resources can be found on its website, www.carepathforkids.org. The CPK has been developed with and for families of children and youth with special health care needs. Nearly one in five of all U.S. children ages 0 to 17 years have special health care needs. Most of these children have more complex needs with multiple health conditions that require multiple types of health care and related services. Juggling these needs and services becomes a balancing act for families and may make it challenging to receive the high-quality health care services that they need. Families can choose to use the CPK if they find it helpful. Also, care teams can use the CPK with families for whom they think it may be most beneficial. Families of children and youth with special health care needs have strengths, priorities, and goals that include all the medical realities of care for these children. The CPK builds on this foundation of strengths and priorities with families engaging as partners in developing and implementing plans of care that fit in the family's social and environmental context. The CPK model takes into account that the broader context of family life for children extends well beyond the clinic setting, and care plans work best when designed around family life as a whole. The model helps providers better understand how to tailor care to fit the family's unique setting to promote whole child and family well-being. Families get the chance to reflect and share their needs, wishes, and priorities as they juggle the many aspects of family life with a child with special health care needs. The CPK recognizes that this family life is not just defined by one provider visit after another. All the non-medical pieces of daily life interact with and are affected by the medical pieces, and the CPK presents opportunities to see those interactions. It also creates a central information location to make sharing easy and efficient across a variety of providers, including doctors, therapists, and others. Families can help providers understand the family as a unit as they partner in designing and coordinating care for the child. The CPK helps build trust among families and care teams and gives care teams a wider lens of the issues and strengths a family brings to the table. Care teams can better see how the care plans for their child with special health care needs will work in the real world family setting. It is an opportunity to readily identify the most pressing clinical care needs as well as the topics and concerns a family may have that go beyond those urgent needs. The CPK three-step process starts with the family. They complete the Family Foundations of Care, or FFC, planner. Responses from the FFC planner can be transferred to the FFC plan by the family or a care team member. The family and care team member work together to finalize the FFC plan, which then gets used during provider visits. It is designed to be the starting point for more comprehensive shared care plans. The plan can be updated periodically or as needed. This is an ongoing process of care coordination and relationship building between families and their care teams. The Family Foundations of Care Planner, or FFC Planner, is step one in the three-step CPK process. It is an engagement tool for families to reflect on and share their child and family's strengths, current care and needs, priorities, goals, and their social and environmental context. Families can complete it on their own or with the help from the care team, and it takes about 15 to 30 minutes to complete. The Family Foundations of Care Plan, or the FFC Plan, is step two in the three-step CPK process. The FFC Plan can be completed by the family with a member of the child's care team through a shared planning meeting. This meeting, or series of meetings, promote full engagement between families and the care team to plan care and to identify goals together. The plan represents families' responses on the FFC planner in the form of visuals for the child and family's map of care and their overall well-being, 
It includes a dashboard summarizing key information, shared goals, and action steps that are identified and discussed by the families and their care team. This dashboard can be uploaded into electronic health records to be shared within care teams. Between 2018 and 2019, 22 families of children with special health care needs were engaged in pilot testing of the CPK. 21 clinic staff at two clinic sites, including nurses, providers, care coordinators, social workers, and others were engaged. Family leaders from Family Voices also participated in reviewing the CPK tools. Our study found that both families and clinic teams are in need of a model and tools like the CPK. About 82% of the families agreed that the FFC planner will increase the value of their child's care. 90% said they found topics on the FFC plan useful to reflect on, and 95% of families said they would recommend the tools to other families. Clinic staff members who use the CPK with families said that it helped to enhance their relationship with families and provide better quality of care. Care teams are organizations that want to improve partnerships with families by using a shared plan of care approach can do so by implementing the CPK in their practice. The CPK Implementation Guide is a guide with resources and strategies to help practices in their preparation, implementation, and use of the CPK model and tools. It is available in PDF form and can be downloaded from the CPK website. The guide includes implementation resources that educate care teams on evaluating readiness, gaining leadership support, team engagement, preparing for an actual use of the model and tools, tips for implementation, example case scenarios, example scripts for engagement, sample clinic workflows, and troubleshooting tips for implementation, among others. Care teams are encouraged to include family representatives on the team as well as providers and staff to ensure that the implementation works for families in the practice. Families as well as care teams can learn about the CPK and access the CPK tools and accompanying resources on the CPK website at www.carepathforkids.org. The CPK tools, education materials, and resources are made available for download after a short sign-up form is completed on the website. Your feedback on the use of and ways to improve the CPK is welcomed, and you can submit feedback through the website. We invite you to learn more about the Care Path for Kids and to try out the three-step whole child approach by visiting www.carepathforkids.org. If you have any questions or feedback, you can contact CAMI by emailing us at info at